January 29th, 1999. It's a slow day for the sole dispatcher working the emergency response lines in the tiny town of Copperas Cove, Texas. But that all changes with a single call. <laughs> I just got home and my husband's on the floor and there's blood everywhere. Blood and all. Oh, God, help me. Okay, ma'am? Yes. Keep breathing. No, he's cold. Okay, I'm sorry, not breathing. The dispatcher struggles to get more information out of the hysterical caller. Ma'am, I, I realize you're scared. What's your address? Oh my God! It, 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 it's uh, uh, Route One. No, no, it's Route. Uh, it, 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 it's uh, Route One. No, no, it's Route. Lane, is that it? Yes, yes. Okay. Ma'am. What? What's your first name? Uh, uh, Marcus. I'm his wife. Okay. <laughs> What's your husband's name? <laughs> Raymond. Raymond. Okay. By the time investigators arrive on the scene, Margaret is inconsolable. I remember walking in the residence and Margaret was distraught. She was crying. One of the EMS, the females from the EMS was consoling her. Walked into the kitchen uh, where Raymond's body was, was found. He was naked, covered in blood. Based on the condition of the body, investigators initially suspect the wounds are self-inflicted. We thought this was a suicide when we first came in there. There was an entry wound, right torso, somewhere around the rib cage, which was odd for a suicide, but not unheard of. But investigators will soon discover a more sinister explanation to Raymond's death. I'm thinking, you know, hey, this is not right. 